it was my third year here. So uh, it's just been great to just kind of see what we built. It's been three years. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's my first time on the How show. Has this been it's been three years. years. I've seen every other coach. I'm like, they just, <laughs> they just skipping on Coach Mo. to get you on cruising with the coaches. Uh, you must got a I feel schedule. like you are the one who has eluded us. I love this shoes. Old, I listen, love shoes. a little okay. little razzle dazzle. I okay. said they said like you were you were on today and I said, well okay. let me All let me pull out my right. good All stuff. Right. Let me pull out my good All stuff. Right. Oh so tell us about yourself, Mo. What do what do you want the people to know about this newlywed, oh a one year old? I mean you one have year. you got a lot yeah, going on. You got that, a so. really big year. Really big year, for real. Really big year. So just a little bit starting off, like, I'm originally from North Carolina. Okay. You know, so I'm from New Bern, which is like four and a half, five hours Not from bad. Columbia. Not bad. So, uh, you know, I used to come here all the time and go to Myrtle Beach. I, I like to tell the story all the time. It was destined for me to come here because <laughs> literally the year um, before I got the job here, yeah. I was at Myrtle Beach for my dad's birthday because he oh, still man. likes going to Myrtle Beach all the time now. But. So originally Carolina from North Carolina. Man. Yeah, Carolina man, for real, for real. So this has been dope. Like, you know, I played at a different SEC school, yeah. but this was always my favorite place to come play. I said it in my uh, welcome interview here yeah. because my family could come mm -hmm. um, and the stadium is always rocking. So I love being a part of it. Crazy love, stadium. Love being a part of it. Going to year three, I really love what we're building as a team. Yeah. The culture, you can feel it, you know, and I build it, but also just around campus that Good the guys job. doing in the city. So, um, you know, that's been great and just, Seeing what we continue to build, I really do think we're building something special. So, Super you know, special. Welcome Home is right there. Recruiting pitch. Come on, guys. Welcome home. Welcome home. That's the spot. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the year because everybody's just worried about you guys and not. And not worried about you no more. Because, see, you got <laughs> your time. Off. You got your time now in the spring and summer with all the recruiting business. The pressure's and, off. So now it's off. you like, look. I did all my job is do. done. I get to be I a got, cheerleader. I got them here. I can yeah, just I cheer you guys on I until December. It. You know, football season, the, the, the leaves not yet, but they're going to start changing <laughs> colors here in a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah. You know, the, the temp is just right. So my, so my great story from Columbia is when I was young, I had a yeah. track meet here. Um, so I used to run AAU Junior Olympic track when I was a kid. USA track and field and AAU. I feel like you're trying to get a plug to be on the track team. No, 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 no. I mean, no, you, keep, no, no. you said you're fast. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> you know, my, my little brother was a track, college track athlete. I was a good guy and track runner in high school. So it's just I, genetics. It's just genetics he's a little bit. But he's I'm him. football. He's him. He's him. <laughs> so, but anyway, we had a track meet here and it was like 115. <laughs> This is the first time I could see the waves from the sun rays coming up from the yeah, track. Yeah. My feet was on. So the, the hottest meet, the hottest day ever was in Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, so I'm sure. now I'm being back here. I love it because I was ready for the heat. I'm not going to lie. The heat was heating. The heat was definitely heating. But you was running 12 miles in it, so you got uh, it. It's, it's, not, it's not ideal. But luckily, we have the best athletic training staff Correct. Keep in the hydrated. nation because they drip are drop. definitely keeping yeah, me drip drop. hydrated. Make sure you stand on your hydration plan. Oh, there's no doubt about it. So speaking of you being an athlete, what was one of your pregame rituals as an athlete and now as a coach? All right, so as an athlete, which is funny, I mean, well, I guess my athlete, I, I'm not a big ritual guy per yeah. se, but I would always get in the hot tub, okay. stretch, and go out and do like a little 10-minute footwork, catching the ball, kind of doing my own deal. Okay. But then I always ate Skittles before the game. Skittles? Don't let Jen or Yemi hear I know, that. it's crazy. I always I don't ate Skittles know. before the game. We're going to allow that one for our player. Yeah. <laughs> so now I just make sure I run the field or whatnot. But before the game, every, okay. I'm going to get me like a 20 or 30 minute run on game day. Okay. So that's like my coach ritual. I like that. I like that. I do a little three miles before every game. Okay. So Fridays, we do long run. Then we just shake it out, get okay. a little shake out run on Saturday. Yeah, All right, so we're almost back to the long family football op. So we're going to do my favorite part. It's called okay. rapid fire. Okay. All right. Mountains or beach? Beach. Home games, away games? Home games. Chicken nuggets or boneless wings? Chicken nuggets. Real wings, not boneless wings. <laughs> okay. Night game, noon game? Night game. Willie B, night game. All black, all white. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, tricky, tricky, tricky. They got to go with all white. Ooh, so go a little stormtrooper, yeah, a little stormtrooper. I like it, I like it. 
Well, Monterio, I don't know what I did to deserve this on this beautiful Monday morning, but I am thankful. What a time. It. What a time. I appreciate the ride. Let me get back to work. Thank you. Well. Finally got on the show. It, it, it must have been your agent. It wasn't my agent. Uh, our people got in touch with your people. That's what it is. Appreciate it. Justin King is my people. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Bye, coach. Yep, yep. Well, that's a wrap on today's edition of Cruising with the Coaches, driven by EasyGo. For your chance to enter in to win this brand new, one-of-a-kind, custom Gamecock-branded EasyGo golf cart, click the link below. And as always, go Gamecocks.